I'm Sheen, and welcome back to the shop. Today I'm starting a new video series on a shaker style media cabinet. Here's what we're going to be building. This is the shaker style media cabinet. It's constructed completely out of cherry plywood and cherry hardwood. And this will be an elegant piece for any living room. The center of this media cabinet this is, is designed to hold a DVD player, a home theater system, or video game system. And the, the shelves are, you can slide them out and adjust shelf pins, and you can adjust these shelves up and down um, if you ever get a different system. And here we have wire management through the back, so you can run your wires cleanly. So we have two shaker style doors. Uh, this is a uh, rail and style door with a center plywood panel, and it opens and closes on Euro hinges. You might wonder why we are using Euro hinges on a piece of fine furniture. Well, there's a rationale for this in that the uh, hinges are allow the door to be easily removed in case we ever need to adjust the shelf here. Uh, and you can't do that with a normal butt hinge unless you were to unscrew the door. And it goes back very easily. Um, so I think the functionality of the ear hinge is far outweighs the aesthetic or traditional benefits from a mortise hinge. And plus, I've got the soft close built into this, so it's, um, it's a very nice feature. You can see we have an inset door here with an even reveal on all four sides. The Euro hinges make it very easy to position the door, and I'll be showing you that in the door episode. Consistent with shaker style design, we have a hand turned mushroom shaped knob. And this is not made out of cherry, this is black walnut, and I think it accentuates the door very well. Let's take a look at the side panels. This is a shaker style end panel. We've got a captured panel in a frame, and you'll see that the legs have a taper cut at the bottom on two sides. And last but not least, we have this solid cherry top. Uh, we've got a particularly wide board in the center, flanked by a board that's been sawed into two pieces on the ends, and they're all glued together. And this was done with the help of the domino joiner, so uh, there's going to be an episode on making the top as well. 